The Beverly Willis Architecture Foundation is a national research and educational nonprofit working to change the culture of the building industry so that women's work is acknowledged, respected, and valued in the past, present, and future. The foundation documents women's work in architecture, design, engineering, landscape, technology, real estate, and construction. It educates the public and transforms industry practices through collaborations with museums, professional organizations, and other groups. The foundation has initiated public programs with major museums, such as the National Building Museum, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Guggenheim Museum. The Beverly Willis Architecture Foundation partners with top executives of some of the nation's largest architecture, engineering, and construction firms through its Industry Leaders Roundtable program, which collectively represents over 100,000 employees, and up to 20,000 are women. BWAF has become a remarkable organization since it was founded in 2002, and a remarkable woman created it. Beverly Willis. She's an architect, artist, author, and activist philanthropist, as well as a revered industry professional. An incident at a young age embodies a lifetime of quick thinking, willingness to take risk, and seeing opportunities from a broad perspective. At age 15, Willis had completed a solo flight in a plane when the engine quit. Her life in her hands, she glided the plane to a safe landing. After 45 years of leading her own architecture engineering practice, she saw a great unfulfilled need to advance knowledge about women's contributions to the built environment. The uh, historian, uh, obviously, who is in a way the gatekeeper to history, uh, is, is very tentative and uh, very concerned about anything different that goes into history. And, and women happen to be one of that class uh, of items, so to speak. And I'm not talking about Curry in, in science or, or, uh, uh, or the women who, you know, have led uh, the feminist movement, uh, Susan B. Anthony, and and those women, yes, I mean there is, uh, uh, they they are recognized, you know, in history. But in our particular professions of architecture and engineering, that's not the case. The three spokes of the Beverly Willis Architecture Foundation mission are documenting women's work, educating the public and transforming industry practice. Efforts towards the first goal led to the creation of the Dynamic National Archive, a digital open source platform used to register and document the contributions of female figures, past, present, and future, shaping the American built environment. Using the archive with its national reach that includes 1,200 names and entries from all 50 states, a collection of women of 20th century American architecture is being assembled and is being funded by a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. The second goal of educating the public has taken the form of museum programs, tours, and films. The movie, A Girl is a Fellow Here, 100 Women Architects in the Studio of Frank Lloyd Wright, was produced by the Foundation and written and directed by Beverly Willis. A runaway success about the scores of women designers who worked with the legendary architect, the film has been seen across the U.S., featured in many film festivals, including at the Royal Institute of British Architects, and previewed in Asia and many European cities. The third focus transforming industry practice is a major challenge for the foundation. Willis acknowledges that progress has been made in the industry since she launched her career, but believes a lot more must be done. Well, there's been a lot of changes over the years. Uh, when I started out, there were very few women in architecture engineering schools. Uh, uh, you know, maybe one, two, three, or four sort of thing. And then now, for the most part, w women are in equal numbers to men uh, in, 
in the classes. The real issue for us at the foundation, the women don't have the role models to look up to. More women seem to be being hired at the entry level than men. Uh, but by the time it gets to middle management, women are only like 30%. And then when it gets up higher, you know, women are, you know, 10 to 2%. <laughs> So, you know, there's clearly a pipeline issue. To help improve those statistics, the Beverly Willis Architecture Foundation developed the Industry Leaders Roundtable, a program comprised of principals or partners of some of the largest global architecture, engineering, and construction firms selected by the foundation to develop strategies to improve advancement of women leaders in the building industry. A saying goes, women hold up half the sky. Imagine a world in which we live, work, and play, created equally by women and men. Until that day, we still have much work to do, together. <laughs>